What's up everyone, welcome back. In the latest update for Horizon Forbidden West, developer Guerrilla Games has paid a heartfelt tribute to the late Lance Reddick, the talented actor who portrayed the complex character of Silence in both Horizon Zero Dawn and Forbidden West. A touching memorial has been added to the game, honoring Reddick's impactful contribution to the series. The serene and thoughtful place of remembrance can be found in the newly added region known as Burning Shores, beckoning players to take a moment to pay their respects. Guerrilla Games, known for their meticulous attention to detail, discreetly incorporated this tribute into the game world. However, gamers are always quick to notice any modifications made to their beloved virtual realms. The memorial is easily accessible, inviting players to embark on a meaningful journey and discover this beautiful homage for themselves. Accompanying this touching addition is the release of Horizon Forbidden West, Burning Shores Update 1.26. Clocking in at less than 1GB, the patch focuses on fixing quest issues, bugs, and glitches, ensuring a smoother and more immersive experience for players. With these improvements, you can dive back into the Burning Shores without delay, continuing your adventure unimpeded. Now, let's delve into the details of the Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores Update 1.26 patch notes. This comprehensive update addresses various aspects of the game, from main quests to side quests, world activities, weapons, skills, performance, and more. Here's a breakdown of the fixes and improvements that await you. In the main quests, issues that hindered progression have been resolved. For example, problems like incorrect overrides blocking progression in the Heaven and Earth quest, getting stuck behind a door in the same quest, or the quest being stuck on the Find the Door Code objective despite the door already being open have all been fixed. Additionally, challenges related to autosaves and quest objectives not displaying correctly have been addressed. Side quests have also received attention. Fixes have been implemented for issues that prevented progression in quests such as In His Wake and A Friend in the Dark. Fast traveling during specific objectives or encountering obstacles that hindered NPCs from progressing have all been resolved, allowing for smooth gameplay. World activities and data points have not been overlooked. Problems in Cauldron Theta and the Aerial Capture East mission have been rectified, ensuring that players can progress through these challenges without any hindrances. Moreover, issues with obtaining the notes on Londra's code data point and upgrading the Spectre Gauntlet have been addressed. The update also focuses on performance and stability, with multiple crash fixes implemented to provide a more seamless gaming experience. Additionally, improvements have been made to photo mode, audio, visuals, and overall stability. Furthermore, Guerrilla Games has paid attention to the finer details of the game world. The spawn rate of salmon in the Forbidden West area has been increased, making the ecosystem feel more alive and vibrant. Additionally, measures have been taken to prevent players from getting stuck in assets or falling out of the world. In summary, Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores Update 1.26 brings a plethora of fixes and improvements to enhance your gameplay experience. Take a moment to appreciate the touching tribute to Lance Reddick in the newly added region of Burning Shores and then dive back into the world of Horizon Forbidden West, where adventure and discovery await at every turn. Remember to stay updated with the latest news and updates from the gaming world by subscribing to our channel.